Hey guys! In this video I'm going to talk about one of the problems that many language learners find when they study language. And it's how to maintain, how to keep your language level. And I think this video will be roughly divided into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to give you my personal opinion about this problem and maybe its possible solutions. And in the second part, I'm going to give you my personal examples from my own experience. In one of the previous videos, where I was talking about 5 tips how to learn a language faster, I was saying that practice is one of the most important things when you study language. And it's absolutely true. If you haven't watched this video yet, here above you can find the link to this video. And I want to assure you that if you follow every single step of this video and of these tips, I'm sure that you will be able to learn a language much faster. But remember that in learning a language, the most important is constant practice. Every day or every two, three days, every week, every two weeks, you decide your rhythm, your pace. But the more you study, the faster you learn, that's for sure. So if you've decided to learn a language and you're just starting, I want to prepare you and I always say that studying a language is not easy. You have to understand that. You have to dedicate a lot of time and a lot of effort. Sometimes you might lose your motivation or even become lazy or even reject the whole experience, but you have to keep up, you have to continue and maybe give some time off, but then restart again. Unfortunately, there are no miracles in language learning and you really need to practice all the time to make it a routine. So here I'd say the following. If you are just starting learning language or if your language level is quite low, for example, you have A1, well, a beginner, or A2, or maybe B1 level, but not very sure, then the only advice that I want to give you is practice constantly, all the time. You decide your pace, you decide your rhythm, you create your own routine, but I advise you to practice it regularly. And that's exactly what I do when I study language, for example, with Korean and with Komi. I understand that I cannot understand or be able to speak fluently the languages if I'm just starting. I have to give some time to myself to assimilate all the information that I'm receiving. Because when you're just starting learning a language, your brain hasn't created the system of this language yet. So you have to give it some time to do that. That's why when you're learning a language, you will notice that you are translating some things from your own language or from the languages that you know. You try to look for transparent words, for associations. That's a natural way of learning a language, because when you start learning a new language, you pass from your L1 or L2 or other languages that you know very well. I repeat that it's a natural process. Don't try to avoid it, because it's absolutely normal to do that. And when you are at these low levels, especially A1, A2 and maybe B1 at the beginning, you will notice that is the only possible way to learn a language, to pass from your native language or from the languages you know. So if you have these levels in your target language, the only real advice that I want to give you to maintain your level or even improve it is constant practice. Constant practice, a routine. That's the only solution. All right, you might ask me, what kind of practice do you mean? And I mean all sorts of it. You can read, you can listen to music, you can watch series or films with subtitles at the beginning or then without subtitles. You can listen to audiobooks, you can study grammar, you can write essays or compositions, articles, you can read literature, you can talk to other people, you can talk to yourself, you can create phrases in your head. You can do all sorts of practice. Any kind of practice that you choose will be really useful for you. The only thing here that you have to decide is the best way for you to practice to enjoy the learning experience. Because learning a language doesn't have to be a suffering, it should be enjoyable. So whatever you enjoy doing in your native language, just do the same in your target language. 
And one very useful thing that you could do here if you have enough time and enough motivation and determination is to practice in all the possible ways. Try to write something, try to read something, try to listen to something, try to speak sometimes. If you don't have a friend who you can speak with, you can just create phrases in your head or speak to your pet or a toy or your partner, even if they don't understand. You can just create phrases, sentences and tell them. And don't be afraid to make mistakes at the beginning, it's a natural process. When you get to a higher level, you will realize your own mistakes and you will be correcting them yourselves in your head. But at the beginning, it's natural to make mistakes. Through mistakes, we learn. So let me repeat again, if you have A1 or A2 or the beginning of B1 in any of the languages that you decide to learn, the only way of maintaining a language is constant practice. You choose the way, but you need to practice it. Now, if you have a high level in the language, I'm talking about B1, B2, or preferably C1 and even C2, and you're afraid that you're going to lose a language and you're worried about maintaining, keeping this level in the language, I want to assure you that you're not going to lose it, even if you don't practice it for some years. Let me be clear, I'm not talking about certificates or diplomas or studies at university. I'm talking about your ability to speak a language and to understand a language. So for me, high level in a language is when you speak it and you don't notice that you speak a foreign language. When you watch movies or a series or you are listening to music, and you understand everything and you don't feel that you need to translate or you don't even notice that it's not your native language. So that's a high level in a language. You are able to speak fluently, you understand the conversations, you understand the TV, the series, you listen to music, you can read without dictionary, and you feel comfortable when you communicate in the language. If that's about you, then congratulations, you have a high level in the language. The thing is that if you get to this high level in a language and you feel comfortable when you communicate or when you practice this language, this means that your brain has already created the system of the language. And that's the objective, that's the goal when we study language. Because to feel comfortable, fluent and proficient in language, we need to have the system of the language in our brains, not to be passing from our native language or the other languages that we know. We need to have a separate, independent system of the language. And that happens when we get to a high level in a language. And believe me, it always happens if you constantly practice and study the language. It's inevitable. Don't think that you are going to study language and be all the time at B1 level. It's not possible. If you really study, if you really practice, if you follow the tips that I gave you in the other video, I assure you that you will get to this high level when you will feel super comfortable when you talk in this language. So, when your brain has created the system of the language, you can relax a bit and not be afraid because you're not going to lose it, you're not going to forget the language. Yes, even if you don't practice for a while, and for a long while even. So let me give you some examples from my own experience and let's start with French. If you watched the video where I was talking about how I learned the 10 languages that I was speaking in the video where I was speaking 10 languages, if not you can find it here, I said that French was my third language. I started studying French when I was around 6 or 7 because I studied at a school specialized in the French language and I studied French for around 10 years. I must say that I was quite good at it. I loved the French language, I loved France, I actually wanted to go to study there, but well, that's not the point now. The thing is that when I finished my high school and I entered the university, I completely left the French language because I had to study many other new languages for me, then I graduated from university, I moved to Spain, I had to study Spanish and Catalan and other languages. So by this time I hadn't practiced French for 10 years. Can you imagine? 10 years! Oh my God! 
You must think that in 10 years you are going to lose everything, forget everything. And honestly, I thought the same. I was really afraid because when I tried to construct phrases in French in my head, sometimes I was doing that and that's what I like doing actually when I study languages, I realized that I was confusing French and English or French and Spanish or French and Catalan and now I understand why because at that time for example English was a new language for me so I didn't have the system of the language yet and I had to create it but I had the system of French so I was confusing I was trying to pass subconsciously maybe pass from the system of the French language to English so they were interfering the same happened with Spanish and with Catalan but at a minor scale and then there was a time when I had a trip in France and when I was there at the beginning I tried to speak in English first because at that time English was my first language I was speaking English all the time but then I realized that it's not a very good idea and it will be much easier if I just speak in French so I just started speaking in French at the beginning it was a bit hard not very easy. I was a bit shy to speak French because I didn't want to speak it badly and I wanted to speak it well and I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do that. But it's also a natural process. We have a block that we have to destroy because if we don't destroy it then we cannot progress or improve our language level. After this story I had several more trips in France, uh, then I traveled to Senegal and I think actually this experience was the best for my language practice because I spoke a lot in Senegal in French in very different situations and circumstances and I had to speak French and I cannot explain why but I spoke fluently and I wasn't translating, I wasn't thinking what to say, I was just speaking and here I remembered one of the teachers at university who told me that you don't forget the language if you had a high level in the language. And I totally agree with that and now I understand why. Because I had the system of French language and I have it in my head. So even if I don't practice it for some years, I just need a bit of practice immersing in this environment and I will remember everything. I cannot say that I remembered 100% of the French that I had at the time when I graduated from high school, but on the other hand I can say that I even know some more of the French now. Because thanks to the languages that I learned after French, English, Spanish and Catalan and other languages, I learned more words, more expressions that are similar maybe in these languages. So from the transparency of the words in some of these languages, I was able to improve my vocabulary in French. And I think it's a huge, huge advantage when we study many languages. Apart from the fact that learning languages opens our minds or broadens our minds, it can also help improve the languages that we already know. The learning languages has only advantages in my opinion. So I encourage you to learn as many languages as you can. So once again, let me summarize my points from this video. If you have low levels in a language A1, A2, B1, then to maintain your level in this language or to improve it, you need to practice all the time. You choose your way, but you need to do that. If you have a high level in a language B2, C1, C2, then you can relax more and you can have more passive practice from time to time. Don't be afraid, you are not going to lose this language because your brain has already created this system of this language. Of course, if you don't want to have this difficulty that I had with French at the beginning when I had to restart practicing and remembering the constructions, the only solution for that is constant practice as well. You can just watch films from time to time, listen to music, speak to somebody, write emails. But practice is the solution and I'm afraid is the only solution. So that's it, what I wanted to say in this video. And thank you very much for watching me till the end. Remember that if you want to support my work, you can put a like. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye!